I guess first and foremost, tell me, uh, tell me what a day like for you. What are your friends, family, teammates here to support you as you sign to play at the next level? It means a lot to me. Um, with it being, you know, a pandemic right now, for people to be here, it's really, it's not my day, it's theirs. You know, I wouldn't be here without all the people around me, so it means a lot to me. What's it, how long have you dreamed of a day like this, being able to sign to play college basketball? Since middle school, since, you know, I really got serious about it, so for it to be here is almost like it's surreal. How, uh, how have you seen your game grow from kind of the first day it just became a dream back in middle school? How have you seen your game evolve from this point, from that point check, until check. now to, to be at the point you are now? Um, it's just crazy. It's just the growth. I think it's more so as a person even than a basketball player. Um, the lessons that I've learned through basketball has translated over into life. So really growing as a person and growing as a young lady, it's been tremendous throughout my whole development. Obviously, uh, you were originally committed to San Jose State, decommit, and now you're at Loyal Chicago. I guess what what led to the, to the switch there, and what what was it about Loyal Chicago that made that the right fit for you? Um, as ironic as it sounds, playing basketball showed me that basketball wasn't my only purpose. And um, going to uh, San Jose, a great school like that, I realized I was just going, you know, just to play basketball. And me having a bigger purpose and wanting to affect the people around me in a positive way, Loyola uh, was a better fit for it. So, yeah, what, what do you feel like your bigger purpose is? Like, what outside of basketball, what are the other reasons for going to Loyola? Uh, impacting my people is a huge one. You know, uh, here I actually used to host meetings with uh, Deuce Taylor and Ariane McCarter for black athletes, just self-development meetings, talking about what we can do to use um, our position to make a difference in the condition in our society. So that's what showed me that going to Loyola would be a really good decision for me. That's awesome. Uh, on the court, what uh, what do you feel like your strengths are as a player that, that will kind of lead to you contributing to that program? I guess, what do you feel like you can add to the Ramblers program? Uh, right now, athleticism. Um, they lack a little bit of athleticism, so me coming in, I think that's going to set. Um, it's going to be great for them. Not only that, um, energy. Energy, energy, energy is huge. And, you know, I think I did actually get recruited. People don't think about the stuff you do, you know, on the bench or just body language. So even just clapping, you know, for your teammate or getting hype every time they do something, those things are huge. So I think I could definitely uh, bring that and they can, you know, rub off of me in that program. Uh, last one for me, I guess, just how much kind of weight does this take off your shoulders, having this behind you now and now you can focus on your senior season and try to win as many games as possible? Right now it's just, it's, it's crazy. I'm just focused on Snyder. That's it. Taking it uh, one day at a time, trying to get better every day, better than I was yesterday. Getting out here, get some wins, and get my first at least sectional title. So that's what I'm looking for. And uh, do you know what you're going to major in at Loyola? Yes, sir. Uh, exercise science and kinesiology.